go into our last uh, presenter here, Mr. Kevin Kelly, General Manager of Imperial Irrigation District. Welcome. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, thank you, though. I, I do want to just at the outset say that your your useful uh, synopsis on Salton Sea, um, I read it here, and there's a section in there about uh, uh, initiatives that are in the offing now. And the one thing I didn't see in there that I think is the predicate for all of the activity you're seeing at the Salton Sea is that IID and its partner, Imperial County, who have spent the last 12 years litigating over the water we're transferring somewhere else, joined together and went across the street to the state water board and said, you know, we're all about to fall off the cliff in 2017 when the mitigation water goes away. And what does the state of California propose to do about it? You're stealing my thunder, Mr. Kevin Kelly. I'm, I'm trying to help you. Uh, <laughs> but, um, but that question is a live one. Yeah. And that petition we filed is a live document. Um, we're encouraged that the administration has formed a task force, um, that there seems to be some real movement now uh, at the Salton Sea. Um, but unlike all of the previous speakers, um, uh, the Salton Sea is not an esoteric uh, uh, subject to me. It's a real place. And there are real people who are going to be affected, uh, for better or worse, uh, right away. Now, uh, it's, it's been deja vu all over again for me because this time last year, Senator Wesso, who was here earlier, had a bill moving. And it was for 500 megawatts, a modest amount of geothermal. Um, didn't say it had to be from the Salton Sea. People understood implicitly that that's what we were talking about. And uh, it came up short. And the reason it came up short is because the CPUC and my, <laughs> my friends here at the ISO and virtually all of the investor-owned utilities showed up before these committees and, and implored people that uh, there was no need for it in the portfolio. It was too expensive. The grid uh, couldn't handle it. And IID couldn't deliver it. About a year ago, the ISO put out a technical paper that said IID's effective deliverability, the maximum import capability out of our balancing authority, was zero. Mm -hmm. And they ascribed that to the loss of songs. I'm, I'm heartened to hear that now uh, all is forgiven and there's 750 megawatts that's available. But what they're not telling you is that only 250 of that is in the IIDBA, and that's because we have projects that miraculously uh, came up with purchase power agreements. The other 500 is in this amorphous area called the Imperial Valley Competitive Renewable Energy Zone. Is that what you're Imperial calling? Zone. Well, that Imperial Zone is 98% within our service area. Mm -hmm. And it's to accommodate projects that interconnect directly to the ISO and circumvent IID entirely. So I would submit to you, uh, Mr. Chair, and thank you for holding this uh, hearing, that IID finds itself whipsawed between this procurement process, least cost, best fit. You know, that duck chart, you ought to call it the Loch Ness Monster because what it's showing is a choice that this state's made in procurement where solar's just dominated. So this is an overgeneration a problem created by the state of California. So is there a place for geothermal in a balanced portfolio? Well, of course there is. And there was a year ago. Mm -hmm. And there was the year before that. IID's been coming up here uh, talking about what to do at the Salton Sea and the importance of using renewable resources unique to the Salton Sea, including the largest known untapped geothermal resource in the hemisphere as a platform for some sort of restoration model 
that can be sustainable as that shoreline recedes. We went to the State Water Board in, in April, and, uh, and we did that in the throes of this historic drought. And we said, you know, the nation's largest agricultural to urban water transfer can only stand if something is done at the Salton Sea right now so we have some confidence that, that there's a going forward plan 10 years from now. 10 years is the right horizon for transmission planning and for uh, resource procurement. The planning cycle that uh, Ms. Edson refers to, the annual transmission plan, ID finds itself as an independent balancing authority, standing on the sidelines, hoping from year to year that it'll come down somewhere between 1,400 megawatts of deliverability and zero. That's not the kind of certainty that, that, that our uh, uh, generators vying for purchase power agreements uh, can compete on an equal basis. So uh, uh, we, we're, we're still looking for some relief. Uh, we've yet to find it. And, um, and I don't think that the uh, ISO is a disinterested spectator just observing this antiseptic process in which everybody uh, competes on a level playing field. I've been told, you know, the, the ISO doesn't pick winners and losers. And I think Technically, that's probably true, because to be a winner or a loser, you've got to be in the game. And the way the rules are structured right now for IID, we're not even on the field. So uh, thank you for uh, holding this hearing and, uh, and for letting IID uh, uh, take part in it. All right. Uh, anything that uh, any of the other speakers would like to add, uh, maybe a minute to add to any of the conversation that's taken place at this time? Uh, okay. I think you answered uh, my question in terms of the inconsistency uh, that's uh, been seen as it relates to uh, the amount of uh, energy uh, opportunities that exist in that area. From a public policy standpoint, uh, what would be uh, you know, top two or three um, actions that you would uh, uh, recommend, uh, Mr. Kelly, if uh, you were on this side of the dice? Well, I'd like to see some acknowledgement that these twin policy goals of uh, a bold RPS standard of 50% or more and this, this climate uh, initiative that, that is even bolder, that the nexus between those two uh, policy aims belong at the Salton Sea. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Imperial County isn't in the state of Arizona. It's the 58th of the 58 counties. It can be a uh, it can be a real uh, uh, secret weapon in the arsenal available to the state for both climate and uh, and RPS. Now the RPS uh, that has uh, gone to this point. Geothermal, there has been one new geothermal uh, facility constructed at Salton Sea. And the off taker is Salt River Project in Arizona. So, why should that resource be good enough for Arizona, not for but not for California? Yeah. Point. Okay, thank you very much.